guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Ashley and this is a quick day in the life vlog it's currently Friday March 15th and I am sitting here at my desk and the work day is almost over so my daughter and I we need to go out and purchase a gift for a birthday party that she was invited to that is happening tomorrow on Saturday. I've just been sitting here tying up some things. Um, the workday has been pretty much quiet for the most part. I'm so proud of myself because I had gotten a really great email this morning that was saying the first edition of the newsletter that I typed for um, or wrote for my team uh, looked very well and it just had to go through one more round of approvals. So that right there meant the entire world to me. But um, yeah, as I'm sitting here, it is crossing my mind um, to focus a little bit more on what you guys just saw in the first clip when the video started. So basically how I keep up with my work days now is by using this project tracker here so it tracks your projects and the daily tasks for the week associated with those projects or any other little ad hoc requests that you may get and I actually put that cool A5 insert into a beautiful planner I have not launched this planner yet but I'm doing a full launch over on Instagram uh, next week so if you're watching this then you have seen it but for those who follow me on Instagram they have yet to see it and I will be launching this and it is hitting the website on May 10th so on May 10th if you check out letsplanitright.com you will see this and you'll be able to get it this is a very simple planner that I created I don't want to spoil the front but very simple planner that I created here and it just has the flow this planner belongs to page and then it's followed by some empty slots for your monthly and after the monthly you get into the work section and it's 52 weeks long so you can use this for the entire year and the first page is literally just your projects front and back and then the second page is literally your daily task front and back and I just made this planner just so working girls like me could have somewhere to place all their tasks associated with work but separate them from home like I don't want my work colliding with my home life anymore so this here is going to help me with work life balance and then following this planner up is going is going to be the new two task two day planner this planner right here is currently um being constructed and all of my products are handmade and they are made to order so when they hit this site they're literally going to be made to order but this planner right here is more of a personal planner and it was created to help women like myself to beat procrastination because girl i have a problem with procrastinating but um i am going to be using this planner along with the beta testers and my husband is actually going to be using a variation of it as well his cover will just be different just so i can see um if it's something that would be beneficial beneficial for men as well and go from there so i feel comfortable showing the inside pages of this but it just leaves and says hello this uh planner belongs to then it tells you about this planner why it was created and it goes into these two pages for like the beginning of the year and the planner is undated and I know I'm talking fast but y'all get the point but yeah this is where you're gonna put like your vision for the year um, then it follows up with if I can turn the page something called dateline and you want to just list out all your important dates for the year here then it follows up with two pages of notes 
um, then it's gonna start the monthly sections. And the monthly section will always start off with the monthly beat. So it's just a blank section here for you to kind of visualize your month however you want to or list out all the things you know you have going on for the month. And then it's going to lead with your monthly intentions here to kind of help you set the right intentions for the month. Next, it is followed up by these monthly pages and I'm covering the bottom part here because I included a special key element in my planner that I think is going to make it stand out from the rest. Um, it's something I have not seen done. So um, once I get everything constructed for the beta testers, I'm going to let them know how they should use the planner and what they should do with it while they're using it. They're going to test it for three months and yeah, hopefully um, it, it helps them to beat procrastination by adding a key element in there that I think we all uh, tend to forget. But after the monthly section, then it is the weekly section and looks very similar to the monthly. And then I have five weeks in here. I noticed in my last uh, version of the two times two day planner that I have the five weeks in there, but five weeks is not really needed. It all depends on how you write in your planner. So that's why I put five weeks. But after the monthly, I mean, I'm sorry, the weekly portion, you have your script review and it's just asking you how did the month go for you? And there are some prompts in there to assist you and guide you um, through assessing how your month went and then the next page is just some notes and sure and then it starts off with the monthly beat and so on and so forth I'm trying to decide also am I going to put um, extra blank pages in the back as I did mine um, for everyone else because I noticed in my planners I really don't use the note pages a lot but I'll probably put like five, 10 extra sheets of blank pages in the back of the planner so they can work it out and do what they want to. So that's my whole spiel, y'all. Um, an update for my workday, how it's going. Um, an update for how the business is going. Like I said, got this one, the work project agenda, and this is in Evelyn. That's coming out May 10th. And then this one, the two task two day planner that is being beta tested April through, wait, April through June. And this one is in Melanie. And there'll be a few other cover options for this one. But let's get on downstairs, put on our shoes, get to the store, buy the gift, wrap the gift. Oh, and then I gotta make her a card. Cause I'm never buying cards again, okay? Never, ever, ever, that's what the cricket is for. See y'all in the car. In full pa oh, I can't even get it out. <laughs> in full transparency, I did not feel like going anywhere today and I was about to go to the Fayetteville Pavilion because that's one of my um, favorite I won't call it a plaza but it's one of my favorite areas to shop and I have dreams goals and aspirations to live in Fayetteville Georgia and that's where my family and I will be one day but it's easier for me just to go to the Walmart down the street from my house uh, right now. Um, I asked the young lady's mom, uh, whose birthday it is, what she likes. Oh, child, I thought my daughter was back there um, choking. But I uh, asked her mom what she likes. And she said her daughter likes Gabby's dollhouse and anything like Disney princess theme. So that's what I'll try to get. My initial goal was to go over to Fayetteville Pavilion because they have like Five Below and um, I was gonna go back in Hobby Lobby as well, but I just don't feel like it. So I'll try to get what I can from out of Walmart and then that's just going to have to be 
you know, I don't want to say good enough, but that's just what it's going to have to be. Because I absolutely don't feel like doing anything. And then my parents, they're supposed to be coming over my house today uh, after they get off of work and everything. So that should be sometime around 5, I'm guessing. But part of me is like, dang, girl, you should have went so you can go to Hobby Lobby. Because we don't have, um, like, Camp Creek, they need to freaking get a Hobby Lobby over there. Or a Joanne's or a Michael's or, you know, stores of that nature. They act like people who live on the south side don't like to frequent those stores. And we shouldn't have to drive 59,000 miles just to go and get craft supplies. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm really hoping that this Walmart is not super full because this area is notorious <laughs> for having too many people in and out of it. But gonna see what they looking like today y'all comment down below though and let me know what's your favorite place to shop i know most of y'all probably gonna say Target, but now nah, don't get me wrong i do love target but i'm not opposed to going into walmart i know i've watched um quite a few youtubers who have um gotten to the point now in their careers where they say they can't go in walmart but whatever you go in a store that is the most convenient and so you can get what you need now there are certain walmarts i will not go in for example the walmart in, on cleveland avenue in east point you wouldn't catch me in there if everything in the store was free not going in there now granted i grew up in east point you know born right in atlanta georgia at great memorial hospital was raised um on the Campbellton Road side, not the one down here at South Fulton, but the one over there, Headland below those Campbellton Road streets. So, yeah, and then we moved to East Point when I was seven years old. Mom, I just like because of these idiots, the idiots that was in front of me. But yeah, we moved to East Point when I was seven years old. So I grew up in East Point. But things have changed um, quite a bit over the years. And there's no way in hell that you would catch me at the uh, Cleveland Avenue Walmart in East Point. No, ma'am. No, sir. We almost here. I'm about to find a nice good old parking space. And then we're going to go. Hopefully, there's some, um, some good stuff on clearance. But let's ride off in here and see what they got. So, you know how you come in the store and you see things you're not supposed to be getting? I was looking at me, Mel. I see these cute shorts in Walmart. And I see they have um, shirts that could potentially go with them. But they are camisole shirts. Ugh, we got a messed up cart. And I would want something that's got some sleeves on it for now. So I'm trying to find a shirt that matches. Where is y'all friend? No, you can't stand up in the cart. You gotta sit down. Oh yeah. We are gonna um, take you to the beach. Don't worry. I don't know, did y'all see that um, story online about the little six year old girl that, um, I probably have to get one of these regular shirts and then just get a um like put like a jean jacket over it or something i hope i can find something with some actual sleeves I, I want like two piece outfits now but yeah did y'all see that story online about the six year old little girl and her brother or i think she was seven or so but um they went down to the beach hold on and they were digging holes in the sand and the poor baby done fell in a sand hole and lost her life. So, y'all, if you take your kids to the beach, don't let them um, dig in the sand. It's not worth it. Mel, I don't want to have to ask you again to sit down, okay? 
Now be good for Ow. Lord, I just backed into something and it hurt my leg. Yeah, I don't have no camera control today because this um hold on Mel. This cart is not working properly. But I'm trying to find an olive green shirt, something to match these shorts. So here's what we're looking at, y'all. Um, the shirts right here are $2.98 and they match the, um, oh, there goes one. These are $2.98 and they go with those shorts right there. But I'm gonna have to wear something over mine. And I wanna kinda get another one because they're cute, but I don't see any other colors except for black shorts and then like these, um, beige ones but beige were kind of blending with my skin too much so let me see what else they have over here back here close to the toys but still not at the toys because i um i knew the cricket cards were Mom, on clearance oh that's what you want her gift to be uh-huh and i want to buy her a, a, a room. she might like it no we can't do no whole room but I have been saying that I am not buying another card a day in my life because they're so much easier to make um, on your own. So I have been into making cards on my Cricut. So I see a lot of things back here are on sale. So I already have a, um, the mat for the cards, but you can always use another one because it's only $2.50. And then this is everything that Walmart has on sale. And oddly enough, I had some things in my cart on Amazon um, to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these because I really like the color. Um, these are the ones, oh no, these are like neutral cards. I want the ones that, um, have like the gold in there and stuff. I wanna say these are three dollars. And they have nice, I don't know, what y'all think? I'm trying to pick like nice, bright, um, girly colors that would catch people's eyes because I wanna start making greeting cards. These are so pretty. I'm gonna choose those. And then they have a bunch of vinyl and things on sale. Right now, since I'm making my own planners by hand, um, and I'm not doing the binders, I don't need any vinyl. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad I came back here. But Walmart has a lot of things on clearance if y'all wanna come and check them out. with the freaking um gabby's dollhouse toys and a lot of everything is on sale oh, so yeah, mel picked out this. well we can show them at home what you got but mel picked out um <gasps> one toy for her friend well she actually picked out two things i'm trying to make sure for sure for sure that what we are getting is the price that it says it is because things are um a little mixed up back here so i'm trying to figure it out but you know what yeah i'm gonna switch she can get that one and put this one back but yeah i'm really happy about this I see a toy that I had got Mel for um, Christmas that Mel loves. It's a Gabby's Dollhouse. Um, that right there, like a fake oven. Mel loves that toy, but I think this is gonna be it. Mom, can I get that donut because I just lost that? You can't get like uh, one item out of there. You have to buy the whole thing. And we're not gonna rebuy it. You could get um maybe this if you like it. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna get from back here, y'all, because I'm not spending no more money. I already have a lot of things in the cart that I shouldn't have in the cart, but um, some of it is for the small business. So, hoping to get a return on some of that stuff very soon. I kind of want to buy my baby a toy because we always get male stuff and we don't never get Aiden anything. So let me look back here on the clearance and see do I see anything for little boys? And oh you sure do. Do y'all um it's from this toy. Yeah. Do y'all typically shop on clearance? Generally, and I'm I'm not saying this to um sound a certain way. Generally I don't look at clearance items just because it's not in my head to come back and look at the clearance items but because I have spent so much money this week on this planner conference that I'm going to and then um Mel's teacher appreciation at school you girls not finna be spending all her coins on stuff okay so that's why we are back here looking to see what is on clearance and what we can find oh Aiden might like um something like this what you think? A Spider-Man car? Yeah. Like All right. So we found Aiden something. Oh, and I see some other little cute things back here too. Oh, it's like a unicorn sticker set, like stationary. But mm -hmm, I'm sorry. But I don't need to be um getting nobody no more junk. Okay. I see a lot of things back here that Aiden can get, but. Yeah, y'all comment down below though. Let me know. Do y'all be coming to Walmart um, to get the clearance items or no? Cause I do have an idea. Um, but I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Ooh, that's a nice, pretty bag right there. You like that, Mel? Yeah, you think Paisley will like it? Okay, let's roll on up. Sale as well. 
surprise figure so we got Mel one and then we got oh, it just Kingsley got one. one they didn't see Mel then we got these at the front they're these cute little um because her mom did say she liked Disney princesses so I saw yeah, these at the front guys and I have you too short four guys how about you step back here hmm? just step back Gabby's dollhouse. Well, she turn it the right way and go. This is what she got. So this one was for Mel. So I'm trying to separate all her stuff. And then Mel, okay, like I said, I got Mel and Elsa. Yeah, my kids make me, not my kids, it's not Aiden. Aiden's not even at the point where he can do anything. But when I'm recording sometimes, sometimes I just want to be, you know, focused and into what we got going on but it kind of throws me off like when Mel sometimes will jump in or somebody's trying to talk to me or even though I know that's real life but in real life I don't like being disturbed I do not like being interrupted I do not like repeating myself it's a lot I'm a Leo comes with the territory okay but yeah <laughs> So yeah, sometimes that's why it might look like I get airheaded at times because someone has thrown me off and then I am at a point where I'm trying to not get upset. I'm trying to bring myself back down. So that's me being my authentic self, letting you guys know all about me on this channel. Anywho, um, I have seen this there, it's an aerial. So Paisley can get that one. I got my mommy some jelly beans. And Mel, she had a big old chocolate rabbit, but she chose to trade it out for this. Well, Mom, can I, can I eat it? Mom, Go can ahead, I... Mel. That's you. I can't open it. Mom, What's your dad say about the painting? That's for Nima. What's your dad say about the painting? He says he won't paint it. Uh, he will put it outside. Chow, what about in the garage? Um, oh, and the last thing I got, and I, and I got two of these for Mel and her friend. I think I showed y'all. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. This was one of the last things that I got here. It's a 3D resin unicorn that you can paint. Um, it'll be a good activity for... Paisley and her mom to do at home together. And then the last thing I got was this Gabby's Dollhouse. Um, it says surprise accessory, but it looks like a spa or something. So I think she would like all of these things. Y'all know black people, we gotta peel um, the price tag off of stuff, honey, cause you know, we don't, we don't like nobody seeing what we spent on anything, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff in the bag. Mel, can you bring me that Target bag from up there, please? Miss Thing is over there with scissors trying to cut open her candy on her own. Oh, guys. Yes, what is that? A book. A notebook, okay. What else did you get her? And this is a book too. That's like a magic color book. And then. And I got a bandit for baby. Uh huh. And a for me. Cool beans. And that's and it. That, and this for Nemo. Uh huh. And then this for Nemo too. Cool. Okay. Let's pack the bag. Oh, wow. Mom, 
dishes from Walmart the other weekend when the kids were spending the night at my parents' house. And it was this little 12 piece set right here. It was only $20. And it comes with, I think, four bowls, four big plates, and four small plates. I like them because they are not glass. They're BPA free. And you know, they look different. I wanted to try something a little different this time. And I also bought some some bigger salad bowls, which I have to finish uh, picking the sticker out of this one, and some smaller salad bowls. And I ate out of one of the salad bowls the other day, and I see I felt like the Kardashian, so it would motivate me to eat salad a little bit more. <laughs> So excited about uh, those balls, but your girl is getting very hungry right oh, now. That was so, a risky oh, okay, be careful. Your girl's getting very hungry right now. So after I finish putting away these plates and bowls, which was very, very quickly, I am going to make me a protein shake with my Earth Champ. It is this vanilla protein powder right here. It's organic and it comes in several different flavors. I have tried the chocolate before, but I'm really, really, really in love with the vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip this baby up because I am doing one meal a day and then doing meal replacements, um, maybe one re meal replacement throughout the day or two if I feel like I need to put something else on my stomach. But I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. No, I just bought her, um, I told you she had to get everything that homegirl got. That's how I ended up spending so much money. Funny thing was I had $100 and she had $9. And my total was $109 and, um, and six cents. Well, I know. Oh no, well, while she's a, a little, little kid, I don't mind. But I know as she gets older, she's not going to be able to um, get every little thing her eyes see. Or, you know, Aiden's going to want things too. But no, I do feel like if we're in a store, one of us should buy one and one should buy one. to be an earth chimp 
protein shake. I've been feeling chiply lucky with this protein powder in my diet. It's definitely helping me to stick to my one meal and one protein shake a day diet. Definitely if you want to change up your diet and you know you, you're feeling real lucky like you're gonna get on a scale and the scale is going to do, 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 go down definitely get you some earth chimp vegan protein powder as i mentioned um this one is vanilla i have tried the chocolate before they all taste really good and they even have an unsweetened kind that doesn't have any flavor in it that you can purchase that one and mix it up and make it the way you definitely want to make it but if you want to check out earth chimp go to at earth chimp on instagram or on amazon because that's where i get mine from i don't know everybody should have on amazon but yeah definitely click the link below in the description box get you some earth chimp today and tomorrow when you stand on that scale you're gonna be feeling real chimply lucky okay Yeah. What is this? I don't know. It says it's a surprise in one of those things there. And then there's a surprise in here too. Okay. Oh, you did it. Ooh, what is it? for the rest of his life to boom took off but <laughs> as i was saying y'all the things that kids find interesting with these daggone toys i don't understand it girl <laughs> i do not understand it but that's gonna be the end of this vlog y'all i just wanted to come on here and be a lot more consistent with what i am posting my mom had told me that I still need to post the vlog when I went to Dallas for work. So that's what um, y'all could probably be expecting next. So it'll be a little out of order, but at least you know that it's out of order. It's all good though. But yeah, if you like this channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And y'all just drop down in the comments below and let your girl know how you doing. Say hello. Um, I do care about my community and I am definitely making a valid effort to build community. Where, where are you going? Somebody walking now. I think they could just go outside by themselves. But yeah, um, I am definitely trying to make a valid effort to build community. So y'all, comment down below. Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. But ultimately, make sure if you are not subscribed, don't break the door. <gasps> If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when the Croppers post another video, okay? That's important, very important. And last but not least, I'm gonna let Mel close this one out for y'all, okay? What you supposed to tell 
What are they supposed to do? y'all because she didn't forgot make sure you stay make sure y'all stay cool calm 